in the most simple uh, example of a flow in Integrator I.O., there are four steps. You choose where you're exporting data from, where you're going to import it to, how you're going to map between the source and the destination, and then in the final step, you get to choose how often it should run and things of that sort. So here we are, uh, and it's already set up, but you can see that I'm going to be looking for NetSuite contacts, and you notice I have access to the full set of standard and custom uh, record types in NetSuite. I'm referring to a public save search, but I have access to all different save searches here. And I'm doing an export of all the data, although I could have chosen Delta, which means uh, grab everything that changed since the last time I ran this uh, export. And we can immediately see that I get an example record. This is the first record of the save search. And uh, if we went over, I might as well do that. If we go over here, uh, California contacts, we can see that the first row here is Christy Yong, and over here we see, sure enough, it, it's Christy Yong. So this is exactly the data. If we change the safe search, uh, we would see the data change here as well. So this, I'm going to grab every record in that safe search. Uh, I have the option to do uh, some transformation of the data, so change the structure of each record filter out records that I'm not interested in, but we'll, we'll move forward. So that's getting the data out of NetSuite. Now where am I going to send it? So I've got these contacts uh, that represent my customers in California. I want to send it to an FTP site. So I, I'm specifying which FTP site, uh, the location on that site in a, in a folder, and I have a range of formats I could choose, uh, whether CSV or JSON and so on. In this case, I'm choosing an Excel file. And that's really all I need to do there. And then on the next step, I can choose how I want to map the fields. So basically, we're going to take every column from the saved search and map it directly to a column in the file that I'm going to generate. And this is the, the simplest type of, of mapping. Here I've got office phone. This one said business phone, but we can always change that. So this allows us to define the, the headings of, uh, in this case, the, the columns in the Excel file that I'm going to generate. Uh, and, and so on. So we're literally just taking the safe search and, and away we go. And then on the final step, we could choose to schedule it as often as, you know, once a week or every 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, we could go down, in fact, even to five minutes, uh, but obviously if you're running it like a batch job, that's typically going to be fine. And that's all there is to it. So that's getting data out. Now, if I wanted to, I think I have another example here, if I wanted to, um, I'll, I'll come back to that actually, sorry. So that's how we can get data very simply from uh, a saved search and uh, in, into uh, FTP. And then from Integrate IO, it would just be a matter of either having it scheduled uh, or clicking the run button, okay? And then it will run according to whatever schedule I've, uh, I've defined. So that's getting data out of NetSuite. Now, if we wanted to get data back into NetSuite, again, uh, the most common things that we see, it's picking data up from FTP, or it's taking a query from a SQL database and trying to get that into NetSuite. So let's take a look at that now. In this same flow, I have a second, uh, same integration rather, I have a second flow importing contacts. So just like we saw before, I'm going to be picking up files from an FTP site very simply. In this case, I'm telling it I, I want to find files that are uh, Excel files, but it could have been other formats as well. I need to give it some sample data so that we know what we're looking for. And here, let's imagine our friend Christy Yong had changed her phone number. Okay, so here's some sample data that we're going to be able to use later in a way that we'll be able to see. Again, we, we could transform the data if possible or if, if, we, if we would like. And now we're going to get the data into NetSuite. So once again, I have to say, well, what kind of record do I want to create? For each row of that file that I'm picking up, what am I going to do with it? Well, I want to uh, work with NetSuite contacts 
And I have a choice of either just adding, kind of blindly, updating existing contacts, or add or update, meaning if it doesn't exist, I'm going to create it. If it does exist, I'm going to update it. But if I'm going to update it, how do I know that I have a match, you know, that there's some duplicate? So I can define a, a lookup here. So this is simply saying if the email address in NetSuite matches the email that I get in the Excel file, then I know I have a match. Now these could be much more complicated, these lookup criteria. Uh, so it could be based on, you know, you know address. Uh, we, we could add other criteria here, for example, or, you know, and, and get as, as complex as we like. Uh, but in our case, this one's going to be pretty simple. So I, I know how I'm going to find existing records. Once again, I need to do the mapping because I'm getting data from a file. I'm mapping it into my NetSuite contacts. And here we've got it really simple, just from phone to phone, email to email, and from the name in the file to a contact in NetSuite. Uh, but to make this even easier, we've built in what we call the, the NetSuite Assistant. And this brings up, because I'm working with contacts, it's going to bring up the NetSuite contact form. And it allows me to very easily navigate around the form. As, as many of you know, the, these field names that are displayed are not necessarily the same as the, the schema under the hood. So if I wanted to map additional fields, for example, I could simply uh, click on there and you see the word fax appears. Click on here contact is active, okay? So here we, we can start doing things like uh, true, you know, hard code of value to say, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the contact is not inactive because we have new data here that we're uploading. So we have uh, an opportunity to make a lot of, um, you know, very accurate mapping. Uh, but then because I'd provide some sample data, you remember our friend Christy Yong, I can hit the preview button here and it's gonna take the information uh, that was in that sample data, her phone, her email, and her name, and it's going to populate the form. So this is really important because it gives me a lot of confidence that I'm on the right track, that you know my mapping is set up correctly. And that's really important, of course, when you're updating a lot of records in NetSuite, you want to make sure you get it right so you don't mess up uh, everything. Okay, so this is a, a, a critical capability here, the ability to work directly with uh, NetSuite forms. And then uh, as a next step, of course, again, we can schedule it. Okay, so there's the, the basic steps. Again, we're exporting the data from FTP in this case, importing it into NetSuite, and then mapping it. Um, as another example,